Hello, and welcome back to the Worst Possible Commander Show, Spooky Edition with Stranger Things. Today's episode is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com and Ultimate Guard. So, please, if you want to support the show, use the promo code WORST at CoolStuffInc.com to get a discount, or use our link in the description to shop at Ultimate Guard, and you'll be supporting the show while picking up the cards and supplies that you need for a spooky season. I'm here with my friends. This is Gina. Hi. This is Ben. Hello. And this is Shay. Hello. And t we like to talk about the worst possible thing that we can do to each other. Today we are all playing commanders from the Stranger Things secret layer that came out. I've been really excited to play this game. I've had this these Stranger Things cards for over a year, just waiting for spooky season to do this <laughs> game. So I'm really pumped about it. What I am playing is Dustin, Gadget Genius, and Will the Wise. This deck is a Esper Flicker deck. It's all about blinking Will the Wise to make as many clues as I possibly can, and then bring them to life with a card like Cyber Drive Awakener, turn them into creatures, and attack you all and beat you up with my robot army. So that's me. Gina, who are you playing, and what are the worst possible things you're going to do to us? Well, I also have two commanders. I've got Max the Daredevil and Lucas the Sharpshooter, and Max is gonna help me make clues, and then Lucas is gonna help me deal some damage and goad creatures, which is gonna be really fun for me. And my worst possibles would be Crater Hoof or Insurrection, so pretty straightforward. All right, Ben, Mono Black, that's interesting. Tell us about your deck and what is the worst thing it will do? Today I'm playing Mind Flayer the Shadow and I'm gonna steal permanence or just in general cards from the bottom of your library and I can cast permanence and they're gonna attack you. And my worst possible is I'm gonna try to get Cabal Coffers out to make as much swamps as I can to torment of Hailfire you guys' faces. Mm, purple pain. Yeah. All right, Shay, who are you playing and what is the worst possible thing you're going to do? Yeah, today I am playing Eleven, the Mage, and Chief Jim Hopper. Uh, so this deck is uh, really all about card draw, so trying to get up to 11 cards in hand, which is um, what Eleven, the Mage, allows me to do. And then for the worst possible, basically it's that I'll be able to play all of those cards with omniscience. Um, so yeah, draw lots of cards, do lots of evil, and uh, hopefully win the game. I thought it was going to be wholesome daddy-daughter stuff with Eleven and <laughs> Hopper, and then it turned into, I'm going to throw all these cards at you at once, and I'm getting scared. Yes, good. But scared is exactly how we should feel, because it is a spooky season and a spooky <laughs> time. So let's dive in and let the spookiest possible nonsense be. Then you won the die roll. What do you got? I will draw. I will play a swamp. I'll, I will pass. All right, I will draw. Uh, well, I'm gonna play an ancient tomb. I'm gonna tap it for two colorless to play a talisman of indulgence. Ooh. Then I'm gonna tap that for a black and cast a vampiric tutor. Ooh, okay. So I'll lose okay. two life from that, and I will go grab a card and put it on top. Okay, so I, I picked out my card. It's on the top of my library there. I will pass the turn. Draw. Get ready to light you guys on fire. Tap to isolate chapel go, Gina. Sweet. I'm going to draw a card. Taiga, pass. Draw for turn. I play a swamp. Play a mana crypt. Tap two for a jet medallion. Okay. I will tap the mana crypt for an arcane signet. Okay. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's looking scary. Okay, untap, draw, I'll play an island. I'm gonna pay two life because I'm using my ancient tomb for three total to cast a heuristic study. Ah, uh, that's what you got. <laughs> Maybe. Mm. Uh-huh. Um, then I will pass. All right, untap, draw. I'll play a sea of clouds, and I'm going to try to bring out my commander, Will the Wise. I will not pay for the Rhystic Study. 
Cool. All right, when this enters the battlefield, each of you are going to choose whether or not to make a clue. If you don't, you will lose one life. Then I will make a clue, and then I'll also make a clue for each clue that you guys made. Uh, ben, Gina, I will tell you this. If you let me make a clue, I'll get rid of the Rhystic Study on my next turn. I'll allow it. <laughs> so you'll make a clue, Ben? Will you make a clue? Don't do it, Ben. In, in Blake's faith, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Blake, we love you. <laughs> He'll be back soon, he's just on a work trip. He's Mr. Business again. Mm. Shay? No. All right, then Shay, <laughs> you lose one life, and I will make three clues. And each of you will make a clue. All right, so Shay loses one, you two investigate, I investigate three times. Your turn, Gina. Draw. Command tower, tap two for Lucas. Whoa. Uh, so Lucas's ability is when I tap him, I can sacrifice an artifact like a clue and deal one damage to a target creature and goad that creature. And I pass the turn. Would you like to pay the one for Rhystic Study? No. Excellent. I will untap, upkeep, odds is damage. Darn. Boom. <laughs> Take him three. Draw for turn. I'm gonna float one black. I'm gonna play Lake of the Dead, sacrificing that swamp. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Tap five more and the floating to, because it's reduced by Jet Medallion, to cast Mind Flayer the Shadow. Now that looks scary, but right now it's not a creature, right? Correct. Mind Flayer isn't a creature unless I control three or more permanents I don't own. At the beginning of my end step, exile Exile the bottom card of each opponent's library face down. For as long as those cards remain exiled, I may look at them and cast permanent spells from among them, and I may spend mana as though it were any color. Ben, I see what this is. This is all about the damage of us trying to get the bottom <laughs> cards of our library off these new sleeved, newly sleeved commander stacks. Yep, yep. And luckily, I don't have to do it because it's only opponents. <laughs> <laughs> it's an endurance test now, guys. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. But Ben, big question from uh, Shay here. Yeah, would you like to pay the one? I cannot. Sweet. So you, Thank you draw that card there. Cool, cool, cool. And I will pass the turn. All right, guys, bottom card. Here's mine. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at all these magical colors. Boop. Thanks, guys. Let me just look at these real quick. Here we go, draw for turn. All right, I'm gonna play a scrub land. I land for turn. Okay, overpaying by one, um, but taking three damage in total. I'm gonna cast 11. I'm just gonna say you paid the one on your own spell. <laughs> there, you <go. laughs> yeah, there we go. That's what it was. There we go. Uh, cool, so um, 11 is a 3-5 human wizard. Your maximum hand size is 11. Whenever 11, the mage attacks, you draw a card and you lose one life. Then if you have 11 or more cards in your hand, you may cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand without paying its mana cost. Uh, pass to you. All right, untap, draw, I'll play a planes. As promised, I will see what I can do about the Rhystic Study. I'm gonna cast a Voidrend on it. The spell can't be countered, destroy target, non-land permanent. I do not pay the one, so you can draw. <laughs> But maybe that go bye bye. That go bye bye. Yeah. Boom. You guys are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'll play this Mox Opal, which can tap for a mana of any color while I have three or more artifacts, and then I'm done. Untap, draw. I'm going to play an island. I'm going to tap three for a Max. Max is here. Yay! And then I'm going to play another spell, a Mox Amber. So now I can untap target creature. Nah. <laughs> and then I'll investigate. I get to have another clue. I'm going to go to combat and attack Ben with max for three. Okay, I'll take it. And I will um, tap Lucas and sack one clue so that I can do one damage to 11 and goad her. <gasps> Lucas what? shot 11 with a slingshot? <laughs> yeah. The treachery. Mm -hmm. I thought they were friends. <laughs> yeah. Eh. And then I pass the turn. <laughs> right, I'll untap. Odds is damage. Woo! 
I'll tap two to play a Felwar Stone. And I'll tap four, or three, reduce by one to play Intellect Devourer. When he enters the battlefield, each opponent exiles a card from their hand until Intellect Devourer leaves the battlefield. Gross. And I play lands and cast spells from among the exiled cards for as long as I control Intellect Devourer. Ugh. Ben. 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 Uh, alright, I've picked a card. How about you, Shai? Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, here's the cards. Here are the cards. Flicker of Fate, Wooded Foothills, and Orzhov Signet. Okay. What's that one say as far as play? You can play. Okay, and she gave you a land. The awkward part is you would fetch a forest or <laughs> a mountain, so that's a pretty sick play. Yeah. But I would still own it. That's right. That uh, is in mine. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I you, will play that because I don't have a land in my hand. Yeah, you gotta add that count. Mm -hmm. And then maybe somebody will play an Urborg and you'll be fine. Yeah. And I will pass after that. Okay, it's my end sub. Exile a bomb card, guys. Ugh. Hand them over. There you go. Here it is. Thanks. Shay, you may go. Cool. Untap. Draw. I will go to combat. All right, I'm going to attack CGB with 11. Revenge. Who oh, was your friend? <laughs> Revenge. Yeah, maybe I blew up a Rhystic Study. Yes. All right, attack trigger. Attack trigger. I will draw a card and draw a card and lose a life. And I'll take three damage. No blocks. I'm gonna pay four to cast a Mystic's Mastery, targeting my Vampiric Tutor. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, all right, that is that is a vibe. <laughs> all right, so I will do that. I'm gonna lose two life from that vampiric tutor, and I'm gonna go look for a card and put it on the top of my library. All right, I tutored. I found my card. It's on the top of the library. As these resolve, they will go to exile. That's my turn. All right, untap, draw. I will tap four. I'm gonna cast Tezzeret to betrayer of flesh. So if I were the first ability of an artifact that I activate each turn costs two less, which kind of lets me crack clues on everybody's turn. So it's really fun. The plus one is going to draw two cards. Then I'm going to discard two cards unless I discard an artifact. So that's the first ability I'm going to use. Draw two. I'll discard a Phyrexian Metamorph. All right, I'm just going to pass the turn to Gina. Untap, draw. I'm going to tap three for Cultivate and go get some basic lands. While you do that, I'm going to crack one of my clues using Tezzeret and draw a card. So I'm going to uh, put down a tapped forest. And um, I haven't played my land for turn yet. So I'll go ahead and put down a Hinterland Harbor. I'm going to um, swing at Tezzeret with Max. Yeah, Tezzeret has it coming. He goes down to two loyalty. And I will pass the turn. I'll untap. Roll for Mana Crypt, Oz's name. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tap two to cast the Orzhov's Signet. I'm gonna float one with this black. I'm gonna tap the Lake of the Dead to sacrifice that swamp to add four more. He's a maniac. Five for six, and I'll use all six to cast Cyber Drive Awakening. <gasps> no, that's my worst possible! You took my worst possible! Ben. You monster! Yeah, Dastardly yeah. dog. Uh, tell him what it does, uh, Ben. It's, yeah, no problem. Uh, it's a flying 4-4. Four, four. Other artifact creatures you control have flying. Uh, whenever it enters a battlefield, until end of turn, each non-creature artifact you control becomes an artifact creature with base power and toughness 4-4. Four, four. All right, and then these are 4-4s. Four, oh, God. Oh. And your Mind Flayer is now a creature. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. So this is bad. <laughs> I'm moving to combat. Um, Lucas would like to shoot his little slingshot at your Mind Flayer oh, so yeah. that it's goaded against somebody else. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. 
Mine flare is coming at Shay. <gasps> and my four, four, four flying artifacts. One is gonna go at Tezzeret and the other three at CGB's face. Oh my <gasps> God. Ben, don't you want to kill Shay? Why, why do you have to worst possible me with my worst possible Ben? that's the best, best villainy yes. ever. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, no blocks. No blocks. Okay. Uh, be before damage, I'm going to use the Tezzeret ability to sack one of those clues and draw a card. And uh, Tezzeret's going to die, and I'm going to take 16? Uh, 12. 12. 12. 12. One swing at Tezzeret. Yeah. That's right. I take 12. And then, Shay, that is nine commander for you. Awesome. Okay, everyone, end step. You need more? Get, get that bottom you library need more? card. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you, team. There you go. Politely handing it to me. <laughs> Hope it's my other worst possible while you're at it. <laughs> All right, untap. Draw. All right, I'm going to play a Scalding Tarn as my land for turn. Gonna Pay one life? Yes. <laughs> All right, so I grabbed an Underground Sea. I'm going to pay six, taking two damage from the Ancient Tomb. Woof. To cast Consecrated Sphinx. Oh, God. Woo! <laughs> I mean, Shay, you're already, like, really low on health. That's going to... How's that not make you a target? This is gonna be rough for you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but you gotta do what your deck does. That's how that's how it works. Just gonna go for it. Yep. Yeah, I am not gonna have any attacks this turn. So I will move to my end step and pass. Alright. I'm just gonna untap, draw, think about Ben over there living my best life. Created Sphinx, I'm gonna draw two cards. I'm going to play a jeweled lotus. That's going to turn on Metalcraft for the Mox Opal, so that I can use it for mana. Shay, mm -hmm. sorry. I'm gonna Swords to Flash shares the Consecrated Sphinx. It's just too good. But you do gain four life. <laughs> it's an exile. Yep. Gah. All right, the Sphinx will get exiled and I'll gain four life. I'll sack my Jeweled Lotus and that will be for blue. Tap this for white. And I'll cast Dustin, the Gadget Genius. You can tap for two colorless mana to activate artifacts or cast artifacts. Good for cracking clues. I will tap a white. I'll cast a land tax, which I desperately need to happen. And I will pass the turn. I would like to tap three for the Torin Mauler. Ah, favorite of yours. Yeah, so whenever an opponent casts a spell, I can put a plus one plus one counter on it. Hooray! Something else I can play on this turn, tapping four for the one ring. Ooh. I figure I could draw some cards. Shay, any responses, fellow blue mage? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you have a max trigger. All right, uh, I get to make a clue. Thanks, Max. And um, I'm gonna tap that ring for a card. And that's the end of my turn. Just over here being safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll untap. Mm -hmm. Mana Crypt. Ouch. <laughs> I tap the Mana Crypt for a Mind Stone. I tap these two to cast Flicker of Fate. Uh-oh. Targeting my Intellect Devourer. I was afraid <laughs> you'd do that. Okay. Yep. Uh, I don't have anything to stop it. Mm -hmm. It goes to my graveyard. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate you. Go, you. Uh, it does exile it. You don't, and then you return it to the battlefield. So when it enters the battlefield, you get the thing again. <laughs> and each of you, each opponent exiles a card from their hand until it leaves the battlefield and I can cast them. I got my card. Ben, thanks for playing cool stuff. I'm gonna put two counters on my Mauler for your Mind Stone and Flicker of Flate. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> got Jolene the Plunder Queen. Ooh, nice. Uh, tells him of Hierarchy and Omen Hawker. Yeah, an Omen Hawker from Hawkins. Hmm. Hmm. 
I will tap two for the Talisman of Hierarchy. And that is another counter for my Mauler. I'm going to tap the Lake of the Dead for one black to cast a Dark Ritual. Sure. That's... Oh, there it goes. Got bigger. <laughs> and reduced by one from the Jet Medallion, I'll cast a Gonti Lord of Luxury. Of course you will. Really? Okay. <laughs> Who are you targeting? I will see <laughs> I'll choose CGB. <laughs> Top four. I'm treating you good so far, huh? All right, there you go. Okay, CGB. Yo. Yeah, the most life because Gina's protected. <laughs> that, uh, and you. <laughs> I can't attack myself. <laughs> I'm gonna swing both the 4-4 and my commander at you for cool. a total of 13. It's great. I'm gonna block your Mind Flayer. It doesn't have Trample, right? No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna block the Mind Flayer with Will the Wise. Before combat damage, I'm going to ephemerate oh. Will the Wise, which is going to flicker it. It is going to leave the battlefield, then return to the battlefield, and this has rebound. So I'm going to do it on my next upkeep. So, twice, both from leaving and entering, you guys get the choice. Would you like to lose one life or investigate? Gina? I like clues. All right, so two clues for you? Yeah. Okay, Ben? I'll lose two life. Okay, Shay? Clues could actually be good for me. Clues. All right, then I am going to get a total of six clues going to seven. And that was a spell, by the way, that I cast, Gina. Thank you. I will make my Mauler stronger. I will take four damage from the Cyber Drive Awakener and go to 21. All right, end step. What you got, guys? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bottom oh, guard. There you Thank go. you, Shay. Let's untap. And draw. All right, I've been trying to set up a card draw play to help with this the whole game, but you know what? We're gonna just do it anyway. Gonna pay for to cast Shieldred. Oh, the apocalypse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eee. oh Ticking goodness. up the Mauler. So anytime we draw a card, we lose two life. Anytime she draws a card, she gains two life. Oh, that's very good for you. <laughs> it's good for the one ring. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. All right, go to my turn. Uh, on my upkeep, I have two triggers. I have a land tax trigger and an ephemerate trigger uh, of rebound. So let's get the ephemerate done. I'm gonna target Will the Wise. All right, guys, are you ready for more decisions? Yep. Mm. Flicker, so two cases. Uh, you do get a Mauler trigger. Yep. And then <laughs> would you like to investigate or lose two life? I will lose two life. Two life. Two life. Okay, uh -huh. all of you take two and I will investigate twice going up to nine clues. All right, <laughs> land tax trigger. I'm gonna search for three basic lands. All right, these three lands will go to my hand. I will draw for turn, I will lose two life and I won't enjoy it. I will play this island as my land. I will tap two for an Orzhov Signet, triggering your Mauler, Gina. Thank you. And I will tap three, and I will cast a Nettle Cyst, triggering a Mauler Gina. So this is a living weapon. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact or enchantment you control. And uh, I have a few. Uh, that would be one, two, three, four, plus nine, 13. So I have a 13, 13 germ out here. Woohoo! Nice. Hate that. I like being a germ, and it's Star Star. It just doesn't have flying. I'll be the germ. And then I'm done. Go ahead. Okay. Untap. And at the beginning of my upkeep, I lose one for the ring. All right. I'm going to tap an island to turn Sheldred into an ape with Pongify. Great. <laughs> I would like to respond. Would you? Oh. Yes. With a flawless maneuver. Ooh. All right, indestructible. Indestructible. That does trigger the Mauler. Mauler bigger. Uh, that resolves for me. Resolve? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, so Pongify attempts to destroy Sheldred, fails, but you still create the ape. <laughs> I gave you an ape. I'm a really nice person. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, really? I love that. That's hilarious. I'm going to tap the one ring. I will add a counter. 
I will draw two cards and lose four life. I'm going to tap four for uh, Invasion of Ikoria. And when it enters the battlefield, I'm going to search for a non-human creature card with mana value X or less and put it on the battlefield. Hmm. All right, I chose Dockside Extortionist. Oh boy. That's a monkey. Uh, CGB, I would like you to defend this battle. Great. And that's a max trigger, so I get another clue. Dockside enters, and let's see how much it creates. Oh my god. Uh, 13 for me. Three for me. Oh, eight for me. <laughs> so 16 uh, plus four. eight is 24. 24, my favorite number. Whoa. <laughs> I will I make 24 treasure tokens. Huzzah. All right, I'm going to um, tap two, crack a clue. Take two damage, draw a card. So I will use two more treasures, go down one clue, uh, go down two life, draw a card. That's a land. Um, gonna do it one more time. One more time. One more, gambling. one more time. <laughs> down to 23. All right, um, tapping one for a bird. <laughs> nice. And then I'm gonna pay eight to bring in an old friend, Crater Hoof Behemoth. Yay! <laughs> so let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six creatures. So everything's gonna get plus six plus six. Yeah. I'm going to tap all the rest for Spiteful Banditry where X is seven. So the ETB is that it deals seven damage to each creature. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> okay. uh, when one or more creatures you control die, I get a treasure. Oh. <laughs> oh. And all of your creatures have plus six plus six. Uh, yes. Till end of turn. Uh, so the bird is actually a little too small and the bird is going to die, but it, it that's kind of what it's there for. Um, maybe in response, I'm gonna crack my clues. Yeah, you can you can give it a shot. Can you find something? We'll see. Um, the ancient tomb is gonna deal two damage to me, so I'll only net two life from the shieldred. Draw two cards. Here Good we luck, go. Shay. Ooh. No response. No response. No response. <laughs> no response. <laughs> uh, all right, um, Dustin will die, Will will die, Will is leaving the battlefield. Would you like to investigate or pay one life? Okay, I will pay the life. Ben? I'll pay the life. Shay? Pay the life. <laughs> you guys want to investigate on the way out? <laughs> all right, uh, I will go to 10 little clues uh, and my nettle cyst uh, will stay alive, my germ token, because I still have a ton of artifacts. All right, um, Shay, you have indestructible on 11 in Shieldred, yes. which is nice for you, but they won't be able to absorb any damage. The right. ape is gonna die. Ape is dead. Ape giveth, ape taketh away. Gonti is dead. Cyber Drive Awakener and yes. Intellect Devourer. Yes. All dead. So these go back to our hand now, right? The Omen Hawker and the Jolene. I get one treasure. All right, now I'm going to combat, and Shay, I'm sending the Mauler your way, and CGB, you get Max, Lucas, and Craterhoof. And they all get plus six, plus six? They do. And they all have trample? They do. All right, uh, I am out of spite, going to block and kill your Craterhoof with my Nettle Cyst. Whoa. But I can't absorb enough damage to live because there's already seven damage on this from Spiteful Banditry. So I'm going down to negative one. Yeah, and my blockers cannot absorb any damage. So I think I'm just dead. Yeah, they're indestructible, but they have all that damage already marked on them. Yep. Whoa! Shay. 
We got hoofed. We <laughs> got hoofed. <laughs> ah. I find it funny that Gina did it before Blake did. I <laughs> don't <Okay. laughs> Well, to be fair, don't the tell him. Don't didn't tell him. come my way. Oh, oh that's, that's, that is such a technical. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't that's know about so that That's so technicality. <laughs> Um, and my bird did die from the banditry, so it will go away as well. Now, Ben, you're still alive, but Shay and I are out of the game, so any permanents uh, that you have of ours get exiled. Okay, I'm sorry, I almost forgot. Before your stuff leaves, Shay, I'm gonna tap the talisman, paying mm -hmm. one life to Vampire Tutor, <laughs> and I'll lose two from the Vampire. Yeah, friendly magic. Awesome, yeah. great. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that CGB is gone, Ben, you must defend this battle. Okay. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'll untap. Roll for mana crypt, odds is damage. Oh, oh my, my mat was nice to you. <laughs> Yay. I will tap four for the one ring. <laughs> oh, what? Wow. Yeah. Pretty pretty good card, I hear. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to tap it to put a bug encounter on it and draw a card. I will tick up my mauler. I will tap two to draw a card off my clue. Uh, at my end step, I'll trigger Mind Flare. In response, I am going to go ahead and use my treasure to cast a worldly tutor and go look for a creature card. I grab the treasure nabber for funsies, and I'm going to, uh, you know, put that on top. And now I will get the card from the bottom for you. Thanks. There you go. Thanks. All right, untap. And on my upkeep, I will take two damage from the ring. 20 to 20. In 1v1. Yeah. I will draw a card. So I will go ahead and tap three for the treasure nabber. Very fun. I'm going to tap the ring, adding a counter, and I will draw three cards. I will play my land for turn, which is a tropical island. All right, I will tap six for a consecrated sphinx. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whee, it flies, and when you draw a card, I can draw cards, two of them. Nice. So I, yeah, we've seen this, we know how that goes. And because that's a max trigger, I get to make a clue. Hello, clue. I am gonna go ahead and fight this battle, though. Oh. Um, I'm sorry you're not home. Yeah, I was supposed to be defending <laughs> it, and I just I just left my castle. You know? Yeah, I don't know. You weren't there, so I'm, I'm just gonna take this back over here. Okay. And I will transform it into. Oh my goodness! It's a really pretty <laughs> dinosaur. I love dinosaurs. <laughs> it's an eight eight. His name is Zalortha, and it has reach. And for each non-human creature I control, I can have that creature assign combat damage as though it weren't blocked? Oh, God. What? Oh, blocking's not your strategy. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Go on. Yeah. All right, Ben. Mana cribs. What you gonna do? Take three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna draw for a turn. I will lose one from the ring. You drew a card. I'm going to draw two cards. That seems fair. <laughs> totally fair. I'll tap the one ring to add a burn counter and draw two. It will let her draw four cards. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fine. Oh, me? Go ahead. Shout, yeah. shout. Okay. Just going to go ahead and take these over here. I drew a swamp, though. Look at that, guys. Woo! I have three lands. First time in the game. <laughs> And one of I, them I can't even use. I was gonna die if his land was Cabal Coffers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would've been great. Oh, man. This is my best play. Don't... I tried, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna tap that for a black. I'm gonna sack it to the Lake of the Dead to add four, so I have five floating. Seven. Give it. Mine. Seven. <laughs> Eight. Give it. <laughs> Nine. I like that too. I want it. Ten. I can I can keep this. Reduced by one. <laughs> so eleven total. X is nine. So I repeat the process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless they sack a permanent non-land permanent or discard a card. Torment of Hailfire. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so, so I have to do nine discards or sacrifices. Yeah. Yeah, maybe or she'll... Or lose three. Yeah. You know, you can do that. Maybe she'll sacrifice your own artifacts, oh, for yeah. example. Am I, am I allowed to do that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, starting there, though. Yeah, Um. so that's one, two, three, four. I don't need these as much yeah. as you did. All right. So the nine I have chosen are your four artifacts, plus three visits, an island, professional facebreaker, Jolene the Plunder Queen, and Managurger Hydra. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, that's a trigger for my mauler, though, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um... It's your turn. <laughs> cool, I'm gonna untap. Bummer. I will take... Three damage from the one ring. And I will draw my card. Um, I'm gonna tap two for heroic intervention. So all of my stuff is hexproof and indestructible, and then I will swing at you with all of it. I think that's enough to kill me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! Good job, Gina. Nice Yay! work. Well done. You are the Stranger Things champion. You thwarted the upside down. You were out there running up that hill, making a deal mm -hmm. with God, getting yes. him to swap some places. Mm -hmm. Very well done. Well, let's find our CoolStuffInc.com cards of the game. And we are back for the CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. Yo, champ, what was your card of the game? Well, I chose the funniest card of the game for me, and that was the treasure nabber. I did not expect that I was just gonna, you know, take your stuff and then not give it back to you, and that that was your choice. Oh, and sacrifice <laughs> it to my spell? Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. Brutal. Ben, nice try. Yeah. <laughs> you got a long way for a mono black deck with no swamps. Yeah, I eventually got to three lands, guys. <laughs> Very impressive. I absolutely admire the hood spa to go for it so early in the game with the Lake of the Dead. Yeah. What is your card of the game? My card of the game is Intellect Devourer. I just thought it was a really cool card, especially with your Flicker of Fate I stole from you. I, I realized when I sent that to you that you might be able to flicker it. I hoped someone else at the table would be like, well, I don't want that flickered and would kill it. But no, no. they just they just watched it happen. Mm -hmm. yep. Our brains were drained. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were. They were devoured. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, CoolStuffing.com card of the game. My card of the game is Gina's Crater of the Heathen because it didn't kill me. It killed CJ. <laughs> I, you are really riding this one. Like you really think you just can't be killed by Crater Huff. It, it's like, all right, still hasn't done the damage. He's loyal. He's still loyal. hasn't. You know what? It, it went. To attack, and it's like, oh, Shay's over there. I can't attack her. <laughs> Blake is out there somewhere losing it. Just yeah. like, no, that is not how that works. Let us know in the comments. Did Craterhoof kill Shay? Let us know in the comments what your take is. I, as a person who accepted a lethal-ish amount of damage from a beast named Craterhoof, have picked as my card of the game, Cyber Drive Awakener, <laughs> my worst possible, my baby, the thing I built the deck around, stolen from me off the bottom of my library by the Mind Flayer, and then hit me for how much? Like you uh, did, I think over like two turns, you did like 20 damage to me and my Tezzeret with the with yeah. my baby. Like what a monster. <laughs> how do you sleep at night? It's kind of insane. Very, very easily. <laughs> Spoken like a true villain. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, well, well done. Did you enjoy playing the villain in this Yeah, one, that, was, ben? that was fun. I'm surprised how quickly I got Mind Flayer out and that helped a lot. Seven mana commander, no problem. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Well, thank you for staying till the end of this episode. Happy spooky season from us here at the Worst Possible Commander Show. We really appreciate you hanging out with us. Now top it off. Hit like, hit subscribe, and check out our sponsors, CoolStuffInc.com, where you can use the promo code WORST for a discount, and Ultimate Guard. Use the link in the description to show your support for the show. On behalf of my friends, Gina and Ben and Shay, it's me, it's CGB. Thank you for watching. You're cool. cool.